Hi, welcome to the Pasig River. It has been 28 years since its declaration of being biologically dead. Throughout the past 20 years, the PRRC has tried different schemes to revive the Pasig River. However, it cannot supply what is needed for the revival of what was once an iconic river. But there seems to be hope from this dire situation. Maybe it's time to treat waste with waste. On the years of wastewater treatment research, coagulation and coagulants have made its way to popularity. However, synthetic coagulants are hard and expensive to produce. Researchers from Mahatma Gandhi University in Malaysia were able to derive a coagulant from shrimp shells, also known as the chitin and the chitazan. The research process involved various steps, deproteinization, demineralization, and deacetylization with the use of sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. The Philippine Union of Social Scientist Innovators from DLSU aims to simplify this process of extraction with the utilization of household products, specifically sodium bicarbonate and hydrochloric acid from white leg shrimps. Chitin is the most abundant polysaccharide polymer occurring in nature, which are commonly found in shrimp and crab shells, which are huge byproduct of food processing industry that provides large quantities of this biopolymer, which is used in different applications. Removing its acetyl group produces the biopolymer chitosan, which can be used as an effective coagulating agent in organic compounds, as a chelating polymer for binding toxic heavy metals as well as an absorption medium for dyes and small concentration of phenols and PCBs. Extracting chitin and chitosan involves three major steps, deproteinization, demineralization, and deacetylation. Conventional steps in doing this involve sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. However, sodium hydroxide isn't really accessible. To replace this, we, the Philippine Union of Social Scientist Innovators, develop a new methodology of extracting chitin and chitosan from shrimp cells. Instead of using sodium hydroxide, we used sodium bicarbonate, also known as baking soda, having the same alkalinity property alongside availability. To commence the extraction process, deproteinization is performed, treating the shrimp shells with 4% sodium bicarbonate solution for 24 hours followed by demineralization, treating the deproteinized shell with 4% hydrochloric acid for 12 hours. At this point, chitin is already yielded. The chitin is then subjected to a 65% sodium bicarbonate solution for 3 days to deacetylize the chitin and then produce chitosan. Chitin is a biomaterial improved for various density application because it's biocompatible, degradable, non-toxic, and non-carcinogenic. Further optimization of the cheap extraction of chitin and chitosan can open industries in waste management and wastewater rehabilitation. Pasig River has been an iconic river for the city. As we have used it, now is the time to bring back its old glory. <laughs>